Good evening, I'm Alex Lolroff. In a tight decision, La Crosse City officials voting to ban camping on city grounds. This comes after growing concerns over homeless encampments in the city. However, some believe this ban goes against the city's plan for zero homelessness by 2029. For Susan Ines, Mensel was at the city council meeting last night and spoke with council members on both sides of this issue. La Crosse City Hall was packed as many people gathered to hear the City Council's decision after multiple votes concerning the homeless. Any words that I use to describe what I've seen will not encompass the filth and inhospitable conditions that we are allowing people to live in. In the marsh, along the riverbanks, and in other hidden places. I repeat, by allowing squats in La Crosse, we are not helping anyone. We are only harming. One of the votes brought to the council was to ban camping on all city-owned property. Councilwoman Erin Goggin was one of the members voting for the ban. Drug paraphernalia, excrement, unlicensed animals, random bike parks, air conditioners, anything that can add to the horde, and the criminal subculture that has exploded where these squats take hold. They defy any definition of camping. Meanwhile, other council members fear the plan to ban camping would harm La Crosse's Pathways Home plan. Pathways Home is a five-year plan to reach functional zero homelessness. I do not think that this is the solution that so many people in our community are asking for. And I do honestly believe that this will set back our long-term plan. Councilwoman Barb Jansen worries that future projects in the city could be put in jeopardy due to the homelessness crisis. When I hear developers tell me that their people that they rely on to fund their projects are saying why would you want to build in lacrosse with the, the housing um, homeless problem that's a real eye-opening statement councilwoman matt keel says she feels that voting to ban camping on city grounds would continue a cycle that will make things worse for the city we ended up here by banning places and it worries me where then we are going to drive them into more hazardous and more dangerous places. Ultimately, the council voted 7 to 5 in favor of banning camping on city grounds. In La Crosse, Desha Menzel, First News at 9. And the council also voted on a resolution to use Huska Park as a camping area. However, that resolution failed to pass after a 2 to 9 vote.